this is my Starbucks drink today. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. You've got a single 46-year-old woman. She's found herself in an unhappy situation. She's got a lot to say. I want a relationship, you know? That's what I want. I had all the adventures. I have all the stories to tell. You know, I just want somebody that I can count on. All I just heard is that she had all the partying. She was out there finding herself for a really long time. She's 46. How appetizing to a man to know that you got all the nasty out of your system and now here he is. You want someone reliable and dependable now that you did all that and he gets to have that consistent image of you doing all the nasty with everybody before because you you just told him. How desirable. Why is the brain dead so thick? I'll tell you why. Because all of these women absorb all of this modern feminism for so long and women lie to them. They tell them that guys are somehow going to receive that information well. And that guy is just like, bye. See you later. You had all the stories. I don't want to know. I don't want to have to go to the STD clinic either on my way out of here, honey. Too tired to work. Too poor to quit. Too old for a sugar daddy. Too out of shape to strip. Fine, I'm going back to work. And when you finally reach the age where you're basically allowed to do whatever you want to do, you'll find you're too tired to do it. Hey guys, I'm having a mental breakdown, so I'm going to try and make myself laugh. <laughs> Did it work? Good morning. Did you guys get a good night of sleep? Cause I didn't. Like I am so low energy at the moment. I just, I wanna go to bed. I wish, I wish that I had the guts to call out of work, but that goes against everything in my body. Now that I think about it, I've been working here for a year and I think I've only ever called out once. And that's because I was in the hospital. So I think that's like a valid excuse, you know? been here for almost three hours I have taken six deliveries two of them have not tipped me and I've only made $16 in three hours okay scratch that I have now taken seven deliveries had three of them not tip me and only made $16 in almost four hours it is really really wet out there heavy rain but I'm too tired to freaking change love how the older generation just shoved college down our throats and said like basically that was the only way to be successful and that in high school they had everybody sign up for ACC classes because the school got money for the amount of students that ended up graduating and going to college because again shoved down our throats and now they're like well that that was your choice that wasn't I mean 18 year old you should have known to not listen to me you should have known that you know we were going to turn the economy into an unaffordable hellhole um you should have known that you should have prepared for that so and yeah it's not the government's fault it might be the school's fault because they did raise their tuition by like three thousand percent to take advantage um of the government giving you money so i mean it might be on them but there's not much we can do about that so Good luck. Products I would go into debt to buy. These are all the products that if I couldn't afford it at that time, I would go into debt to buy them because I cannot do my makeup without them. This video is not an original idea. This is inspired by Blake Healy. I will tag her down below. I saw her do this and I was like, I have to do that because I have so many products that I know for a fact, either I've repurchased already or I know that I could not do my makeup without. So if I couldn't afford it, mm, I guess I just have to get a credit card. I pay too many bills to be paying attention to shit that don't pay my bills, period. Somebody just offered me a thousand dollars for pictures of my feet. <laughs> and I was like, do you want wallets or like an eight by 10 black and white? What do you need? I'm extremely confused. You're confused. I'm fucking confused, bro. Damn, Earl, why you FaceTiming me with no clothes on? Hot girl summer is over. Sugar daddy Uh-uh, I'm not coming over there. Cause last time I came over there, you took that Viagra pill and had me tied up for eight hours. You gonna have to cash at me first. I 
take all my bills seriously. But the one bill that's not serious to me is a phone bill. Why am I going to pay you to use my phone? At this point, y'all have made me dependent on the phone. I need a phone to get around. I need a phone to make my little videos. I just need a phone. So my mom has been paying my bills since I'm 13 years. I was 13 years old, a little tight. I'm not now going to assume the responsibility of paying my phone bill. That's too grown for me. And I don't care. You could be like, oh my God, you almost 30. She going to pay your phone bill? Absolutely. Do you just hear me say that? I'm not paying that phone bill. I will get married and transfer the phone bill into my husband's name before I pay that bill. It's just not going to get paid. I will get a beeper on my hip before I, I pay that phone bill. Y'all have to boop, 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 beat me on my hip. Paying a phone bill in my eyes is like getting a mortgage. Like, you just too grown for me. Like, chill out. Relax. Like, you taking life too seriously, bro. Damn, she just admitted to having a phone since she was a teen. And I'm willing to bet she was texting little Pookie and Ray Ray to come to her bedroom and smash when her mom was at work. And this is why she, a grown ass chick who looks like she's in her 30s, is still acting like she's 13 years old. If the phone bill, which maybe is 50 bucks a month, is too much for her, what else is she not grown up enough to pay? I'll take the phone bill over car insurance any day. I'll take that over a mortgage. This whole rant was her saying something no one else likes to do. Who wants to work to pay bills? No one. That's why she and these modern women view these relationships as an ATM. And this is why she'll probably only want to date men who make six figures or over. It's fine if a woman doesn't want to pay bills, but everything has a cost, including being in a relationship with a man who will pay the bills. Like be an actual wife. Men should have job postings to date them. Must cook, clean, be fit, friendly, have a body count two or less, and not have social media. Instead, these busted brisket lists out her dating requirements like it's a Google job posting, like she's a supermodel, as if a man would be lucky to have her dead weight. No pun intended. And people wonder why men chose to just quit dealing with women in the West. They'd have a more productive conversation with a wall than these delusional 304s. As Kevin Samuels used to say, you can't make this shit up. Let's read the comments. Top commenter says, My ex-husband pays my bill. If I raise the kids, that's the least he can. Ratchet in the video responded, LMAO, mood. These single moms aren't raising kids like that. It's not like the money is going towards tutors and quality clothing. Most single moms use child support money on themselves, like go on shopping sprees, get daily Starbucks, and getting their hair done. If these single moms can't afford to have kids by themselves, as in need child support, then why do they have custody of the kids in the first place? This is why I hope men find ways to opt out of paying child support, like setting up a trust, because then they can stop giving marriage benefits for free. Another comment. I told my aunt this. I'm staying on her plan until I'm married. Damn, these modern women are like leeches. And since she won't find a man, the aunt will be paying the phone bill for the rest of her life. I say all the time, I hope my dad got a trust set up to continue to pay my bill if he ever leaves me. Cause in what world? I'm not paying nothing. Wait, I thought these were strong independent black women. Why are they on their parents' plan if they're boss lady CEOs? Because this is what modern women want. They want the benefits of being independent. That is, to screw anyone, but also the benefits of a traditional family, which is the dad supporting them till they get married. If you're a father who happens to have a daughter that's a modern woman, stop supporting her and let her truly be independent, because she'll have no motivation to become traditional. Another chick comments, Phone bills are so unserious. I quickly transferred to my fiancé account. I don't even touch the bill, and never will. I hate it. That's a good idea, though. Pay your girlfriend's phone bill so you can check to see if she's cheating by asking the phone company for transcripts on who she calls and what she texts. Back to the comment. I can guarantee she's not given a wife experience for those benefits. That is, cook and clean and please her man as much as possible. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world who completely forgot about student loans. Um, I just checked and I owe like a lot of money and apparently I'm like late on my payments. What are you guys doing? Are you guys like paying your student loans back? Because like, I'm, I'm a 26 year old baby girl. <laughs> I'm a teenage girl. How am I supposed to pay back student loans when I don't even have a job? No, like I'm actually like really overwhelmed. Does anybody have any tips? Um, no, yeah, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. 
No, she's not the only person who ignores her student loans. Most females in the West are counting on suckering a man into a marriage and then divorce him after those loans and debts are paid off, which is called the 304 retirement plan. Debt is a black flag. I don't care how hot she is or how much she can make your toes curl in the bedroom, do not marry her with debt, because you'll have to downgrade your life to pay it off. Do you want to work extra hours or your day off to pay off the interest on a worthless degree or for a credit card bill which was used to buy clothes that the bitch only wears once every six months? Men have sold their own houses to pay off their wives' debt then end up living in an apartment with a roommate. As for this chick in the video, notice suddenly she refers to herself as a baby girl? A 26-year-old baby girl, when she plays the victim card. She even doubles down and refers to herself as a teenage girl, like she's six years too late. Yet, I bet she does adult things like live out a Sex in the City fantasy. That's the main reason why she's probably in credit card debt as well, so she can live in New York City, one of the most expensive cities in the US. One of the main reasons, in terms of after the fact that she's having a, such a hard time, is because she's not that good looking. She can't use her looks to sucker a guy in and pay off her loans. Her life is almost on regular mode. Granted, she's still a woman in the West, and there are extra privileges they get for just being a woman. She's the same Gen Zer that made the news for, despite having two degrees, she got rejected by a bunch of minimum wage jobs, even after she personally handed them her resume. I give her credit for pounding the pavement and actually humbling herself to apply to minimum wage jobs. Bold I've ever felt in my life. I'm literally holding resume. I wasn't gonna make a video, but this was like the second one that came across my feed. Um, it's the perfect opportunity to talk about talk about like business and entrepreneurship and stuff. What this girl is doing is how it always used to be. You would take a stack of resumes and you would pound the pavement and you would pass them out. And then a couple days later, maybe a week later, you would call back and be like, hey, I dropped off a resume. I just wanted to check in. I'm really interested in this position. Just wanted to see if I can get an interview. And that was usually enough to get you an interview with a person. It's not like that anymore. We don't live in that world anymore. Let me tell you about my experience. I know I'm trying to start a business. I'm here. I'm trying to get this boutique off the ground, but like it's not raking in the money. I still have to work. And I took my son on my first cruise, our first cruise in August. And I travel is my other passion. I'm trying to actually get into the travel business, travel agency. I got a travel agency course that I took and I'm supposed to be like doing that, but another uh, video. Um, so I was like, that would be perfect for me right now. Carnival, I just got her hair across my ass. I went on the Carnival website. They were hiring for positions work from home that I qualify for because I have lots of customer service experience. And this was a process, six weeks it took from the first day that I applied to finally getting denied for all three positions that I applied for. Never once did I speak to a person. Never once did I get an email from a person. It was all recorded interviews and very impersonable. They took six weeks to deny me for these positions. That's six weeks of my life gone. You know what I mean? And that was like, you tend to kind of like maybe... For me, I wasn't looking for anything else at the time. But still, what if I was looking for uh, three other jobs and three other jobs did that to me? Like, it's just ridiculous. So we don't live in the world where you can take a stack of resumes. She's going to be met with the responses that she gets. Or we don't take resumes, apply online. Mm, yeah, that's fun. Um, and then it just goes into the damn, you know, system. And lucky if you hear from anybody. So that's the world we live in now. This single mom is trying to build a business on top of her day job and raising a kid and decides to go on a cruise vacation with her son. No wonder why her business isn't making any money. But I guess she's in the girl boss sector and she has to pretend she's successful because I'm sure the pics and videos of her cruise will be all over her social media with her capping about success. It's funny how she claims travel is her passion as if she's the only 304 who likes to travel. These chicks always think they're special. What every basic B preference they have, they're always trying to convince you they're different. They post pics of their booty on IG, but then quote God or an inspirational quote. Back to her video. It's ironic she talks about a company wasting her time for six months, just to get rejected by every job they offered. It's not like women waste a guy's time for six months only to suddenly get back with their cheating ex, or when they have found someone else who'd give them better relationship benefits. That's what she gets for being a strong and independent woman. Life is hard, and us men have tried to tell modern women like her that she'll be happier being a homemaker than trying to compete for a job for the rest of her life. 
And as she complained in the video, that is the world we live in now, thanks to you 304s. It's because of these strong and independent women. The workforce doubled, which gave employers so many options that they can use AI to interview candidates now or reduce the interview to an online test and fill minimum wage jobs with degree holders. Good job, feminists. You've played yourself. Let's read the comments. Most liked comment states the obvious. You aren't teenage, you are 26. Exactly. These strong, independent women suddenly become a damsel in distress when they don't want to do the heavy lifting. A thought responded, We who are in our 20s are still teens. English anyone? No wonder why the commenter is unemployed. Can't even form basic sentences. Another feminist comment, I literally cannot afford a place to live and pay back student loans at the same time. Should have made that calculation before signing a loan that's with you forever. Move in with your parents and take out the trash. Another comment. Girl, my loan's gonna sit there until they forgive me. And you wonder why the worst politicians are voted in because they promise free handouts and that's enough to get the vote from these jobless feminists. That is bribing them with your hard-earned money for their votes. This is another reason why passport bros are getting popular. Because when you settle down in that foreign country, your tax dollars won't be wasted on paying off useless degrees and paying for employment benefits. Oh, the job market is so brutal, and these recruiters, man, they're not making it any less hard. I just had a recruiter ask me about my experience, and I said I don't have any. And she was like, you've been graduated from college for how long? Like, yeah, I've been out for two years, and I can't get a job where I want to because I don't have any experience because no one will hire me without experience even though you're all saying it's fucking like entry level and not a livable wage and I just I, I just want someone to give me a chance and for recruiters to not be so rude about it come on man what am I supposed to do I can't get experience if no one will give me a chance without experience like we all know this you don't have to be rude about it it's called internships during school and after you graduate, but she's too entitled and short-term thinking to do that. Is it better to be unemployed or gain useful experience and get on the job training? The entitlement is off the charts and I don't blame any company for giving her the runaround. She spent her time in college going to frat parties in her free time instead of being serious about her career. College should be a stepping stone for a career, not an experience like what many modern women say when justifying going into debt. As I said previously, the feminists have ruined the job market by doubling the workforce when they convinced women life is so much better if they get a career. What do the commenters think? Top comment with over 20,000 likes says, I just saw a job on Indeed offering 19 bucks an hour and required a master's degree. The job market is so unstable right now. They can always learn a trade, but then I guess they would have to actually do real work and then they can't live out their boss girl fantasy of wearing a pantsuit and getting daily Starbucks in the morning. Someone responded, I have multiple degrees. The biggest slap in the face for me is applying for jobs to make ends meet and being told I'm overqualified. That is a slap in her face because the degrees she got are worthless. Women's literature studies or gender queer theory doesn't produce anything of value. They're not learning the tensile strength of concrete or how to use QuickBooks. Another comment. Everyone is hiring, but they don't hire anyone. Exactly. Who would hire an entitled college grad feminist who's a ticking time bomb and will blame everything on all the isms and could cost her company a lawsuit? Another comment. People are suggesting I do internships, lol, like no, I'm 27 and don't need or want an internship. And that's why they're unemployed, because the entitlement is off the charts. Most doctors do internships in their early 30s, which is called residency, and it barely pays them anything despite having a mortgage of debt. They're not complaining because that's what they have to do to gain experience and be competent in their field. The last thing you want is a surgeon grad to practice surgery on you. Another chick comments. Lie. Say you worked at your parents' business doing whatever it is in your field. I had to do that out of college. In conclusion, life sucks, ladies. No one's there to save you. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.